Hey guys, Keith from Divorce the Horse here, and today we're going to answer some questions about the van life. Uh, one of the questions I get a lot is, hey Keith, where do you go to the bathroom when you're living in your van? <laughs> Same place you go to the bathroom when you're out shopping. <laughs> Same place you go to the bathroom when you go to the park. It's fairly simple. There are more than enough places for one to go to the bathroom in that are open. Uh, for example, I, you know, I spend a lot of nights in Walmart parking lots. Why? Because there's a snack store 100 yards from my camper, my home. Uh, there's a medicine store 100 yards from my home. And most importantly, there is a bathroom 100 yards from my home. So those are the places that I usually go. You know, restaurants, you know, you go and you go. And, <laughs> and also the Walmart at bedtime and for those things. But sometimes, sometimes you need an alternative. And you're like, Keith, what are you talking about alternative? What are you gonna do? Well, I hate to say it to you like this, guys, but everybody, especially this boys who live in vans, have a pee bottle. What? Oh no, not a pee bottle. Yes, a pee bottle. And today I'm going to show you my pee bottle and uh, it's no big deal, really. Ladies and gentlemen, let, you, let me introduce you to my pee bottle. Now, I don't use this thing all the time. It's only in case of emergencies. And you're like, oh gross, that's so gross, but it's not bad at all. Uh, basically what you need to do after you're done with it for the night is dump it out Get a bottle of water, pour a bottle of water inside, take some bleach, probably like a quarter of a shot glass worth of bleach, put it in there, screw the lid on, shake it up, and then dump it down a gutter somewhere, because you don't want to dump it on the grass, it'll kill grass, and we're whole, the whole point is not to stick out here. So you don't want to be dumping this like at the Walmart where you sleep, no. Find a different place to do that. And then take another bottle of water, fill it up, shake it, and rinse it out. And the bleach kills all the germs and the smell and all that. But, you know, you're like, why would you have a pee bottle, Keith? Yeah, why would I have a pee bottle when I, like I said, I have Walmart and all those? Well, you know, for one thing, if you're sick and you have the flu and you're staying in your van, you don't want to get up in the middle of the night and get dressed and drag yourself across the parking lot to use the bathroom. Um, another time is, is sometimes 2 o'clock in the morning. You wake up suddenly and you just gotta go. Okay, so can you imagine what it would be like if you had to like throw all your clothes back on and trudge across the Walmart parking lot and go inside or say heavy downpour, rain. Uh-uh, I'm not going out in the heavy downpour in the rain getting soaking wet so I can pee. Two o'clock in the morning, no. Mm -mm. So that's why we have the emergency pee bottle and uh, I'm gonna show you some features on this bottle and if you're out uh, looking to get into the van life, especially you boys, um, this is very important and it's worth every penny and it's not very expensive. But I want to tell you why you want to look for this particular type of bottle. And for you girls, in case you didn't know, uh, Walmart sells this little funnel thing that you can hook up to you know where and you can pee like a boy. <laughs> I know, right? Crazy. Uh, but they make it, it's sold in the camping section probably also find them online I've seen them on eBay for five or six bucks I'm not sure what they're called but uh, you know in case you have to go at two o'clock in the morning and you don't want to get dressed so let's take a look at this bottle and uh, see what important features there are versus other bottles like it I picked this particular bottle for several reasons one being the size in case you have to go more than once in the middle of the night or you're one of these people with a weak bladder um, or perhaps you've had too much beer before you went to bed and then instead of getting dressed and making 40 million trips to the bathroom at Walmart at 1, 2, 3, and 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, there's plenty of volume holding potential here. Very good. Okay. One of the things that I liked about this one is it had these fold-down hooks on it. And um, if you have security grating on your windows like I do, like that right there, I'd highly recommend getting those hooks. You can just hang up the bottle there and it stays there and you don't have to worry about having any accidents with it. Really important. Uh, the second thing you want is you want one with a completely rounded handle. And I'm telling you that from my personal experience, the stronger the handle, the better. Because if you can grip that and hold that while you're peeing, 
uh, less likely for accidents to happen. If you get a one with a like a fake flimsy little plastic strip for a handle, you can't you can't control it. You can't hold it steady as well, and that's just an accident waiting to happen. Which inside your home on the floor, gross. So of course you know. Um, that's what the old pea bottle is all about. I know a lot of people in the van life have like just a regular uh, thermos size bottle like the kind you would put on your bicycle for water. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you like having beer every once in a while while you're out for dinner, uh-uh, too small. Go big. Better to have more space and not use it all than to have to, uh, well, as I say, pinch it off in the middle because <laughs> you filled the bottle. Yeah, no fun there. Um, anyway, uh, and of course with my bus build, I'm putting in a real bathroom and a real shower and all that other stuff. So the pee bottle thing is not going to even exist in my bus. But as far as van life dwellers are concerned, um, I would highly recommend spending the 12, 15 bucks, you know, on the type of cooler that I showed you. Um, simply because it's reliable, it'll be there for you, it's easy to clean, it doesn't smell, it doesn't look bad, and most of all, um, it's not going to fall apart on you in the middle of using it. So, for this uh, how to go to the bathroom in your van safety tip, uh, this is Keith from Divorce the Horse saying, I love you guys. Stay tuned, subscribe, you know, down there. Learn more about the van life. Um, and in next week's video, I'm going to show you the uh, solar components that I purchased for my bus. That's the electrical system. And um, you'll get to see the heart of it, the inverters that I bought. They're going to be able to power a refrigerator, a microwave, my TV, my video projection system, my outlets, and my lights. And we're probably going to go with lithium batteries on top of it. Uh, thanks to my good buddy JW Solar USA. And uh, we'll be more linking up with him. And he'll be giving you a better description of the equipment that I purchased from him. Uh, he knows the stats on that. I'm really not sure. I'm kind of more of a, I want it to work, I buy it, I plug it in, and I go kind of guy, you know. So I'm not very knowledgeable about solar stuff, except for the fact, you know, the basics, how to wire it up and get it ready. So we'll show you all the gear next week, and then hopefully sometime at the end of next month, we'll start the install by putting the panels on the roof. So until next time, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.